Hello everyone and welcome to day four. For today's workout, you're gonna need weights, mat, or a chair. Are you ready? We're gonna start right here with the warm up. Let's march it out. So shoulders are down and back and lift the chest. That's it. We're gonna bring your heels in front. We're gonna rotate your shoulders backwards. And bigger circles. Four, three, and two. Let's bring your arms up and back. If it's too hard to do both arms, just do a single arm at a time, just like we used to do. That's it. In four, three, and two. And step touch. Let's go forward. Four, three, two, back for four. Again, forward. Four, three, two, and back for four. Let's go back to the march. Rotate your shoulders, forward. Bigger circle. And we're gonna go full, let's go. Big arms. Four, three, two. Let's go back to step touch. Same thing, travel forward. Four, three, two, backwards. And forward, four, three, two, and back for four. We're gonna go for two, to the right. Whoops, to the left, <laughs> and then to the right. That's it, and left, and right. In four, three, two, on the spot, leg curls. Good, so just listen to your knees. Do what you can to bring your heels as high as you can. Three, two, travel forward. Four, three, two, and back. Same thing, forward. Four, three, two, backwards for four. Knees up on the spot. That's it, keep the chest up. Optional to do your arms. Open your knees. In four, three, two, skater. Cross under, that's it. And we're gonna travel forward for four, three, two, and back. Skipping rope right here. You're welcome to keep it low and packed. Good. Have you noticed that I'm circling my arms towards the back? Again, posture. In four, three, two, gentle kick. So don't lock your knee. That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm going to go back to leg curls right here. Let's press in front and press. Press. Good. Four, three, two, let's reach. So keep the shoulders down. Four, three, two, press in front for four, four, three, two, and reach. That's it. And again, arms in front. Four, three, two, and back. In front. And we're going to go forward and back. Let's go. Four, three, two, and back. And march. So I'm just giving you a little rest for your hips here. I'm gonna bring my knees again up. That's it. Four, three, two, travel to the side. 
and switch and switch and switch tap back tap again for four three in two we're gonna stick only with the right right here pump it up four three two in and out good this leg is acting as a pivot four three two and switch straight back again pump your arms that's it in and out again for four three two and step touch and travel forward four three two backwards let's go we're gonna press with both arms this time press press four three two let's reach shoulders down that's it four three two travel forward press in front four three two back and reach and march on the spot i'm going to rotate my hips this time we're going to go to the right are you ready take your time let's go rotate out in out in let's go and one more let's switch so take your time here i really want you to work in your hips area and your glutes that's it you're gonna feel your hips one more time getting with you again to the right that's it are you feeling your hips i'm starting to feel it and let's switch it up last time to the left so keep the shoulders down and back lift the chest two and one more and march give a rest to your hips inhale up exhale to cactus again up to inhale exhale to cactus one more time up to inhale exhale to cactus swing your arms And forward, four, three, two, backwards. Let's go to the right, circle your arms, same to the left. And four, three, two, that's it. And release and march. Inhale, exhale, and again up to inhale and heels in front swing your arms cross your legs in front swing your arms side to side let's go forward four three two and back step that so do your smaller steps right here because i want to bring your heart rate down a little bit before we stop, have water, and then we're gonna start the program. So smaller steps. Tap back, again, gentle. Gentle, small, that's it. In four, three, two, march on the spot. Inhale, let's go up, exhale. And again, up to inhale, exhale. And one more time, up to inhale. That's it, and slowly release. Okay, let's open the legs. We're gonna do the dynamic stretching. Now I want you to bend just one knee at a time. Feel the stretch in your inner thigh. So the straight leg goes down towards the floor. That's the way you should feel it. Lift the chest. That's it, four, three, and two. Okay, at the same time, open your arms. We're gonna 
open right here, chest. And I'm just going a little bit in angle here because we're gonna do a movement with your arms and weights. So let's prepare the movement for your shoulders. Four, three, and two. That's it, and one more. Beautiful, and release. Bring your legs back together. Toes are up. Ready, inhale, up. Feel the stretch behind your leg. Calf, hamstrings, there we go. And up, good. Sometimes it goes up to the glutes. One more time. And we're just gonna switch your legs, same thing. See, I need to bring my toes up. That's the only way I'm gonna feel it behind my leg. So I said calf hamstrings earlier, huh? So calf hamstrings right there. <laughs> That's better. And three. And two. And one more. Set, release, march, inhale, up. Exhale, and again, up to inhale. Exhale, and one more, up to inhale. Exhale and release. I want you to keep walking. I want you to pause the video, grab your water, grab weights, and you can grab your chair as well if you need support. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. So today I'm gonna use five pounds. It's time to increase your weights, guide because if I tell you to eat always the same thing, what are you gonna tell me? Well, that's it. So your muscles are the same way. If you still want to create muscle mass, you need to challenge your muscles as well. So I'm gonna go with five pounds. Please listen to yourself. You can bring your two, three, five pounds beside you and you're gonna choose the following the exercise, okay? I want we do a plie, option one, without your weights, okay? Plie, it's feet out and we're just gonna go down and up. At the same time, I want you to do a bicep curls and contract your glutes, okay? We're gonna go for 12. Ready, shoulders down, always. Inhale, exhale, contract your glutes. Inhale, down, exhale, and 10 more. Bring your abs into your spine. Inhale, exhale. Keep your belly button straight, so straight up. So I, because if you're here, I won't see it, okay? So look straight ahead. Yeah, that's it, seven. Six, contract your glutes. Five, take your time, there's no rush. Four, and three, and two. Beautiful, and last one. Good, and release, and rotate your shoulders backwards. Just bring your legs together. I'm gonna give you two options. So, open your legs, hip bones apart. By the way, hip bones apart are right here, huh? Right there. It's not fat hip apart, so right here. So option one, row and triceps, you know this one, okay? I like you can do one leg in front of the other one, row and triceps, okay? I'm gonna go with option two right here because we are getting stronger. Ready? Hands from the hips, shoulders down and back. Option two to go on your tippy toes as well, a little bit more challenging for balance. Whew, good, and again, 10 more, good. Keep the shoulders in the pocket the entire time. And abs are in. Eight. Seven. Six. Cinq. That's it. Quatre. And trois. How many more? Come on. Two. At the last one, I want you to keep your arms behind you. Arms are straight. Little, little pull, pulses right here. Eight, seven, six, five. Are you feeling the burn? Four, three, two, release, push forward to march. Good job. Whew, I feel it everywhere, even my glutes. <laughs> That's it. Okay, let's open the legs again right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you options. No weights. So I'm gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna contract my glutes to stretch the front of my hips, abs are tight, and I'm gonna go down and up, okay? Option two, you can bring your arm up, look up at the sky without pain in your neck, or you look straight ahead. Option three, that's why I put my weight down. You're gonna keep your arm up above your head. This is not for everybody, especially if you have shoulders injuries. So do it without bringing your arm up above your head, okay? 
I'm okay with my shoulders. I'm going to go in option three. So we're going to go down to inhale, exhale up. Shoulders are always down. We're just going to go for 10, okay? Exhale, inhale, set, six, cinco, <laughs> four, three, are you keeping your shoulders down? If not, you may be tired. You might stop. Last one. And then we have two sides, two arms. So let's switch sides. So again, contract your glutes to stretch the front of the hips. Same thing. Without your weight above your head, that's your option two. Let's go down, inhale, exhale up. Good. You're welcome to look up. No pain in your neck. Six. Five, four, and three. Two more. And last one. That's it. And slowly release. Okay. Look what I'm going to do here. I want we go option one. Right here, you're going to tap on the, on the floor. Option two, you're going to lift your leg. Same time, left arm. And I want you to go in reverse fly right here to work the shoulder. Okay, so you decide to go right here, tap your toes, or lift the leg. Are you ready? Hmm. Shoulders down and back, lift the chest. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. Good. Eight total. So we're going to go for six, five, and four. Feel the work in your hip. Three. Anytime it's getting too much for your shoulder, I prefer you stop. Keep going without your weight. And one more time. Beautiful. And release. We have two hips. We have two arms. We're just going to switch it up. Shoulders down and back. Lift the chest. Abs. Choose your option for your leg. Let's go. Eight. Nice and slow to open your arm. Nice and slow to release your arm. Good. Five, four, three. Don't be afraid to use support as well with your right hand by the chair. Two. Shoulder is down. And one more time. That's it. Nice. Okay. I want we repeat again. So let's go back to plie. Usually I'm behind my chair to do the plie. I much prefer seeing my chair but I want you to see me. So when you do it, just make sure you're behind your chair or beside your chair. So open your arms, your arms, your legs, and we're gonna go down in plie and up. I want to add another option. This is only if you're feeling safe, tippy toes. Down, inhale, exhale up, tippy toes. So keep again your shoulders down and back, contract your glutes at the top, and abs are tight. Six, five, four, three. That's it. And two. Last one. Beautiful. And slowly release. We're going to go back to hands with the hips, row and triceps. Or I was using my right leg at the front. I'm going to switch for the second set. Okay, I'm going to go in option two here. Hands from the hips, same thing. Shoulders in the pocket to start. Inhale, exhale, kick back. And again, one row and kick back. Abs are tight, suck your tummy in. Inhale, exhale. Woo. Eight. Seven, nice and slow. Six. If your hip is getting tired, just bring your legs together. It's okay to go back to option one. Whew, four, three, and two. And last one, you're going to keep your arms at the back. Little pauses. Six, five, four, three, two, one and a half, one and release, good job, and march it out. You can even rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. 
we're gonna do I cut it the triangle if I go like that you choose to go without your weights or option two one weight option three you're gonna reach up okay ready let's go contract your glutes up inhale exhale eight seven six you're getting tired do this arm without your weight four three two beautiful and last one Whew. and release let's switch it up again you don't need to bring your arm up above your head you don't need your weight as well contract your glutes inhale and let's go exhale to lift beautiful eight seven six notice if you can go deeper on one side than the other sometimes we're more flexible four three so one side has to contract the other one has to lengthen two nice and one more that's it and slowly release bring your legs back together rotate your shoulder again you can be beside your chair here for support because you can do that okay if you need support keep the exercise safe all the time i know i'm stable on my feet that's why i don't need my chair shoulders down and back same option one you tap your toes option two you lift your leg to the side right here ready together for eight shoulders down lift the chest exhale inhale to release exhale again for six shoulder is always down five Woo! as we're tight four three and two and last one that's it and slowly release and rotate your shoulder backwards how many arms do we have how many legs okay we're gonna switch choose your option to tap or lift the leg okay ready inhale exhale eight total seven slowly with your arm to avoid injuries in your shoulder six five four that's it three and two and last one nice and release and rotate your shoulders so we're done with the weights i want you to grab your mat or keep your chair if you don't want to go on the floor so grab water pause this video and i'll see you in a few seconds okay if you want to go on the floor just go i'll let you go and you're going to be on your all fours on your hands and knees okay chair people i want you to bring your right leg in the back you're going to bend your knee and extend your knee i want you to feel the contraction right here in your glutes okay you're looking straight ahead and you contract i want you to do 12 repetitions with your right switch your leg you're going to do 12 repetitions with your left we're going to do the same thing on the floor you know you can do cushions you can grab more cushions as well for your knees because i know it's not everybody who likes being on their knees especially if you had knee replacement i get it so you can choose the option right here on the floor on the chair so spread your fingers press on your fingers shoulders are relaxed abs are tight and i'm going to bring slowly my right heel up to the sky i'm going to lower to inhale exhale up okay if i go too high i'm going to rotate my hips okay i'm going to arch my back so nice and controlled inhale down exhale your wrists are getting tired you can do fist again for six make sure your shoulders are relaxed five four three two do you feel the opposite hip that's it and release and you can rotate your wrist we have two legs are we ready let's go back so shoulders in in the pockets abs are tight inhale exhale to lift your left so i you not just as one and i'm flexing my foot inhale to lower exhale to lift good 
and six. Again, you can do fist, five, four. So look slightly at the front of the mat here. So don't let go your head. Two, and one more. Beautiful, and release. You're gonna go right on your back. Okay, and I'm gonna give the next exercise for the chair. So let's have a seat. And I want you to hover your foot off the floor to work your core. So I want you to do that. Slowly down, slowly up. I want you to do 12 reps on right, 12 sweat left on the left as well. So total is gonna be 24. So make sure you calculate, okay? On the floor, you're gonna bring your knees to 90 degrees, okay? Abs are tight and I want you to lower your leg for the floor, you don't need to touch. And same thing, we're gonna touch the floor. You don't have to, but lower the leg. I want you to feel the stomach, the work right here. Inhale, exhale. Now you can use something, a cushion, to for your head. If you're looking towards the back of the mat, you need a cushion here. So there we go. Keep the back of your shoulders in contact with the mat. And you need to breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And four. Do you feel it? I do feel it. But I taught a Pilates class today, so maybe that's why I feel it more. And I did core yesterday. Good. One more. And slowly release. You can bring your knees into your chest to relax. <sighs> and then you're going to keep your feet flat. I'll give you something else in a second. So chair people, I want you to lift the knee and open. And you're going to do the same thing with the left, okay? So same thing, 12 each leg, so 24 total. So try to stay nice and tall without moving your upper body at all. So I'm just hovering my foot off the floor. Okay, right here. I want you to keep your lower back against the mat so abs are tight. And we're gonna sweep the arms right here above the head. Inhale, exhale to bring your arms back right down, okay? Inhale above your head without arching your back. You really need to keep your spine, your lower back in contact with the mat. Same thing, inhale, feel the work in your abs. Exhale, what I'm working here, it's your transverse abdominus. So that's the most important abs we need to work. Can we do four more? If it's too much, you know you can stop. That's it. And three, inhale above your head. Exhale. And two. And one more. Beautiful. And slowly release. Good job. I do feel it. I hope you had a good workout right here in your stomach. You're going to turn on your side. Let's stand up and we're going to sit and we're going to stretch together. Okay. <sighs> Ready? Inhale up. Exhale. And again, out to inhale. Exhale, one more time, up to inhale. And exhale in cactus, and let's stay right here. At the same time, we're just gonna slide the left foot a tiny bit on the end of the chair to press the heel down. Nice, breathe. Good. One more. Good, release your arms, release your legs. Let's switch right here. So press gently, you heel down, open your arms right here. So shoulders are down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And I'm doing a little chin tuck as well here to bring my ears in line with my shoulders. So double chin. Beautiful. So you can even turn your thumbs towards the back of the room. And release, rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. 
and let's do your hip flexors. I'm gonna to look to the left just to make it different. So right here, look straight ahead. Optional to bring your arm that is the closest to me up towards the sky, drop your shoulder. You can hold on to your chair here. And trust me, you don't need to bring your arm up. And then I'm gonna to go to the side. So see, I'm bringing my hand right here, the back of my chair for support. You're gonna feel that beautiful stretch on the side of the body. Inhale up, exhale to release, and let's switch it up. So same look right, shoulders down and back. Optional to bring your arm up towards the sky, drop your shoulder. And then we're gonna go side. You can use support here on your seat. Make sure you're keeping the shoulders down. Breathe. Good, inhale. Exhale to release, bring the leg again back to neutral. We're gonna open the legs right here. I want you to feel the inner thighs and I'm gonna use my arms to open a little bit more. So shoulders are down and relax. Don't be surprised if you feel your tricep contracting, you are using them a little here. Same with the back of your shoulders. Are you feeling it right there? Mm -hmm. Good, and slowly bring your legs back. Extend your right leg and flex your foot. You decide how high you want to bring the leg. Same time, triceps, so brush your hair. Touch your upper back and bring your elbow up towards the sky. Good, let's switch the legs. We're gonna come back to the right. Flex your foot, because I know it's hard for quads. Release your arm, release the leg. We're gonna go back to the right, flex your foot. Same thing, now with your left hand. And let's go up. So your hand should touch the back of your neck towards the shoulder blades. We're gonna slowly switch the legs, same thing. Flex the foot. And slowly release, rotate your shoulders backwards. Good. We're gonna lengthen both legs. And we're gonna cross the left over your right. Choose your option. Eventually, I'd like you to be able to be here. So if you want to make it harder, do you remember? Not harder, but if you want to feel it more, I'm gonna hinge from my hips. I'm staying nice and tall right here. That's because I'm flexible in my hip. I don't have pain in my knee either. So respect yourself. And I can do a little chin tuck again for posture. You just need to breathe here. It's always good to hold the stretch for 30 seconds. And slowly release and let's switch your legs. Same thing, you choose your option to keep your leg low or as high as you want. And feel the difference between both legs. Nice. And we're gonna slowly release, beautiful. And let's stand up. Let's go behind your chair. And I like we stretch your chest and your calves. So grab the back corner of the chair. You're gonna step forward with the leg that is the closest to the chair. You're gonna bend the front knee. And I want you to keep your heel down on the floor. And just open right here. I want you to feel the opening, shoulder and chest but also the stretch in your hip and your calf. This arm that doesn't do anything, optional to bring it behind your back to open the front of your shoulder. 
So I'm stretching many muscles here. And I always, when I work out on my own at the gym, I always do something with the lower and upper body just to be more efficient. Same with the stretch. And release your arms, push forward to march, and we're gonna switch sides. So grab again the back corner of the chair, right there. Step forward, there we go, okay? And lift the chest, good. And this arm that doesn't do anything, you can bring it behind you. So make sure you don't have any pain in your joints here, shoulders. And you decide how deep you want to go. And release arms, push forward and march it out. And I'm gonna inhale up together. Exhale, same thing, let's inhale up. Exhale, and one more time up to inhale. And exhale to release. Woohoo! Good job. You have just completed day four. So stay healthy, guys, and I'll see you very soon for day five.